The Bucs are one, and the Packers are tied for second with the Philadelphia Eagles, might I add. We'll get to them later. It's all header tonight for Monday Night Football. But, Donnie, both of these teams were in the win column yesterday. The Packers beat the Bears 27-10. The Bucs beat the Saints 20-10. Who are you more impressed by here in week number two, Tampa Bay or Green Bay? It was Tampa Bay. It was Tampa Bay's 20 to 10 win over the Saints, which they had actually a 20 to 3 lead before that late touchdown by Michael Thomas, who seems to be able to score touchdowns in every fourth quarter. But it, you say, well, how could you think that was more, you know, Brady, 190 yards, Fournette, 24 carries for 65 yards? Because leading up to this game, I actually thought the New Orleans Saints would be able to win this. Now, those late in the week, Alvin Kamara gets knocked out of that football game or actually doesn't even make it to the starting gate. And you thought to see, like, okay, maybe there's a little bit of an angle. But also, who was actually going to line up at the wide receiver position for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? The fact that Tom Brady has struggled so much with the New Orleans Saints, this game was in New Orleans, where it just felt like one of those games where you say to yourself, What's Tom Brady going to do? What do you want him to do? It's not going to be any explosive plays out here. He's really going to have to manage this game, and he did. Now, I'm not giving kudos to Tom Brady and say, well, he threw for 190 yards. His passer rating was below 80. He wasn't the reason why the Buccaneers won this game. But I love the fact that when you go on the road in a tough environment, you don't have your A team with you. You still come away with a resounding victory. That defense is really good for the Buccaneers. Todd Bowles is the head coach. He's a defensive guy. They're ruling the roost right now. But hopefully if you get Julio Jones healthy, Mike Evans healthy, Chris Godwin healthy, all at the same time, you might be able to do some things. Because quite frankly, you don't need that much offense if your defense is going to play this lights out, specifically over the first two games of the season. Now, if we looked at the uh, other game, the Packers and the – I expected the Packers to beat the Bears. I really did. It was an impressive final score, but I know you already called out shotgun, big quarterback. I mean, snap the football, fall over six inches. You got yourself a touchdown right there. That game could have been a little bit different heading into the fourth quarter or all throughout the fourth quarter at that point. But just watching both of these games, I was very impressed with Tampa Bay going on the road and winning by double digits in New Orleans. I think the takeaway on Tampa on the defensive side of the ball is that they might have the best defense in the NFL. Now it's early and there's a lot more that has to be figured out as the season goes on, but holding the Dallas Cowboys and the New Orleans Saints to 13 total points, both on the road, feels very impressive to me. And I know that the Dallas Cowboys are not looking like last year's group, right? Overall, But again, still on the road, no touchdowns. That's phenomenal. And I know the Saints and Jameis Winston very banged up and Alvin Kamara didn't play. But get on the road here, holding them down. And and you mentioned the the touchdown there. The first touchdown of the season that the Bucs allowed came with three minutes and two seconds left in the fourth quarter of week number two against NFL teams. That's not usually how this goes. That is wildly impressive.